Hey guys, Allison Vixenman here, and I'm here today to talk to you about the top five keto mistakes that people make when following the ketogenic diet. So we'll start off with the number one reason, the biggest reason that a lot of people do not see success when going keto and following a ketogenic diet. So number one would be not getting enough electrolytes. When you start keto or go keto ketogenic, you, um, your body actually flushes out electrolytes and you need to replenish them. And if you're not replenishing the electrolytes, your body is actually not going to see success and not feel all of the benefits from a keto diet or going keto. Um, and you also might get a lot of headaches. So if you're getting headaches and you've been doing keto, that means you're flushing too many electrolytes without replacing them. So a couple things that you can do, you can take a magnesium supplement if you wish, that will definitely help. Um, also salt your foods, you're flushing out a lot of salt, so you need to intake that. You're also flushing a lot of water, so you need to make sure you're hydrating. And everyone's definition of a lot of water is different from other people. Um, if you say how much water are you drinking and you say a lot, that could mean something totally different from someone else's definition. A lot of water means at least drinking half of your body weight in ounces and um, shooting for a gallon of water a day at least. Um, Salting your foods, if you use pink Himalayan salt, that is really good for replenishing your electrolytes. Um, put it in water, drink it with water, or put it on your foods when you cook and when you eat. Um, Another thing that you could do is make sure you're getting enough potassium and a good way to get potassium on the keto diet is to actually eat a lot of avocados and different types of nuts. So if you're doing those things to help replenish your electrolytes, that's definitely going to help with the main reason why you might not be seeing success with the keto diet. Reason number two that you might not be doing very well with your keto diet, mistake number two, would be not getting enough fats. Um, most people follow the normal American diet, the standard American diet, and we're not used to having high fat, low carb, moderate protein. That's what the keto diet is. Um, 70 to 75% of your daily intake of foods should be healthy fats. Um, we're just not used to that. So when you're following the ketogenic diet, your body is going to be using fat as its main fuel source. So the more fat, the better. Like I said, 70 to 75% of your daily intake of foods should be fat. Um, some healthy fats that you can eat, um, olives are a really good one to snack on or add to some of your meals. Olive oil, put it on your salads. Um, you can swap out ground turkey for beef. When you're getting beef, make sure you're getting a high fat percentage of beef beef, not the lean cuts. Um, fat will be the primary fuel source for you, so when you have it to burn, that's what you're going to burn first. So make sure that you are getting enough fats into your daily um, foods because that will be very important when following the keto diet. Reason number three that you might be failing on a keto diet is because you're having too much protein. Um, you need to make sure you're only having moderate protein because if you're having too much protein, you're intaking too much, your body is actually going to be converting it to glucose and it stores it like carbs. A way that you can track how much protein you are eating is using an app on your phone. I actually use an app called Carb Manager and it tracks my foods when I log them in, and it tracks how much fat, how much protein, and how many carbs, um, net carbs, that I'm intaking for the day. And I can look at the percentages in the app and kind of see where I'm at for the day to see if I need to be adding more protein, more fat, or um, if I need to add any more carbs in. So this could be another reason or another way that you are failing on the keto diet is because you're having way too much protein. Remember to keep it moderate. 
Reason number four that you may be failing on the keto diet is hidden carbs. Um, you can find hidden carbs in a lot of vegetables. Y'all think vegetables are really, really healthy for you, and don't get me wrong, they are, but some of the vegetables have a lot of hidden carbs, like broccoli, for instance. Um, it has way more carbs than what you would think. So one thing you can do to help with this is looking at food labels. Like I said, track your macros. Make sure that you're not going over on any of your percentages by using that app, that Carb Manager app. And it might take some time to learn how to read food labels, but definitely give it um, a try because it helps when you're picking out foods in the grocery store because you're gonna look for different percentages um, for different things on the foods. So Hidden carbs is definitely one of the ways that you could um, not see a lot of success if you're following the keto diet. The fifth way, the final thing, the fifth reason where you could fall off the keto track is because you're afraid to make mistakes. Um, you're gonna give up too easily, you guys. It might be intimidating at first, but don't let it get to you. Do all of the research that you feel like you need to do. Try, you guys. You need to be able to try and let your body adjust. Um, let it get fat adapted because that's something new. Remember, you're used to eating low fat, um, but you can't do low fat, low carb. Um, it just doesn't work. So the keto diet, remember, low low carb, high fat, moderate protein. Don't get intimidated. Um, don't compare yourself to anyone else either. Um, you are your own person. Um, compare yourself to yourself. Are you making progress? Are you working on tracking your macros? Are you looking at what you're eating every single day and making changes if it's not working? Don't give up, you guys. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Um, Exogenous ketones can help. It makes it easier on you. It lets you have a little bit of wiggle room when you're following the keto diet. So I suggest that you give exogenous ketones a try if you're struggling with the keto diet. Um, it's a suggestion. It helps you keep you in ketosis and puts you into ketosis. And I will post a link below if you're interested in exogenous ketones because that's the goal of a keto diet. That's the goal of the ketogenic meal plans is to put yourself into ketosis so that you can be burning fat for fuel and experiencing all of the crazy benefits that you're looking for. Um, um, you can purchase on the link that I post underneath. Um, but honestly, you guys, this last one, this number five, all about not being afraid to make mistakes, you can't. You just have to um, not give up and keep plugging away. So those are the top five reasons why you might not be doing well or failing on the keto diet. I hope you learned a little bit from those five reasons and that you can build on them and work on tracking your macros and doing all you can to get everything that you want out of the keto diet. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you haven't so already. Comment down below if you have any questions, you guys, and I will catch you later.